Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Katarina and this is Croatia Vibes. Today I want to talk about ways that Croatia has changed me and that is seven ways Croatia has changed me because I've been living here for the past six years. So this is the seventh year I've been living in Croatia. So then I have a lot of things to share with you uh, because uh, this country is beautiful. This country is wonderful. But when you come here, don't expect to change Croatia. Instead, expect Croatia to change you. Otherwise, you'll be disappointed. <laughs> you'll have, if you come with your own traditions and your own rules and try to like practice them here, it's not going to work out for you. So it's better for you to actually just change for Croatia and then life for you is going to be really nice and interesting. So I'm going to talk about these ways and maybe I maybe you can resonate with me or maybe it is different for you because it is different for everybody. This is my experience. So probably if you're an expert in Croatia, maybe it's a different experience for you or maybe for other people. Okay, then the first way that Croatia has changed me is with the winter. I've really learned to adapt to this country. The winters are pretty harsh, especially if you live in the continental Croatia because the uh, the, the coast of Croatia has very good climate. It's like uh, the Mediterranean climate, climate. So most of the times you find that you actually don't experience very harsh winters, including snow. So where I live, uh, it is really close to Plitvice Lakes National Park. And it is really, really snowy during the winter. And it goes uh, all the way up to maybe minus uh, 15 or sometimes even minus uh, 20. So then it becomes really cold. And coming from a tropical country, it is really something I had to adapt to. I really just had to adapt to this uh, climate. And uh, this is different. And also sometimes in uh, summer, it becomes super duper hot. So... Considering that we have very harsh winters, we also have very, very good summers. So sometimes also too, too hot because sometimes when I am outside there in summer and I complain about the heat to people and people are always saying, oh, but you're used to this because I'm from Africa. So then you find out that it, that is not the truth. Uh, in, it is hot in Africa but also it depends on where you come which part of Africa you come from and also the country itself where I come from like Kenya it has very different climate depending on what part of the country you come from so then I am really uh, not used to this climate so it's something that I had to adapt and in the first the first time I came here I was feeling so cold I was always shaking and I was even wearing jackets in the house I I used to wear like three jackets, three layers of jackets so that I can really keep the heat um, in my body. It was really cold and people were really just laughing at me because I was feeling cold. I was shaky. It was really, really cold. It was a different way of life. It was a different climate. So it's like my body has had some shock. But now I'm used to it and um. Uh, I can just stay in the house like now it's winter and I don't have uh, even uh, a sweater. I'm just in my dress. So it is really uh, something I had to uh, change to and adapt to. And now I can even go outside in, 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 during the winter and walk and also do different things. Before I could not just go outside during the winter. I went to to like I just used to stay inside and I went outside when I had a reason to go outside not just like that so that is one thing that Croatia has changed me it is one way that Croatia has really changed me another way is the coffee culture Croatia is really big with the coffee culture a lot of people in Croatia meet up on uh, cafe bars or even on um, uh, in the restaurants just to have some coffee and chat and catch up with life so it was something that I was not used to because then uh, where I come from and also in other parts of the world I've been to because uh, I've lived also in the Netherlands, you find that many people, if you want to meet someone, usually people meet in their own homes. It's not like you go to the cafe to meet your friend, for example, or to have some coffee with your friends. So it is really something 
that I had to get used to and uh, to change my lifestyle. Also, or although I, I really struggle with it because when I have children and I, I'm doing other things in the house and instead of having someone over, I have to go to the cafe. It, it doesn't make sense to me, but it is the culture in Croatia. And then you have to, in order for you to fit in or, or in order for you to uh, interact with other people, that is what they do. So then I adopted to the coffee culture. So I find it very nice because people are really laid back, uh, not so much in a hurry. So they're enjoying life. And uh, it is really nice that you, people can just meet and have a nice time together. So that way that Croatia has changed me is the DIY culture. <laughs> and this is not like the whole of Croatia. It's just something that I change. Uh, myself to I adapted myself to because then um, you find out that if you buy a house which I'm into like I buy houses and renovate them so sometimes you find that the, the builders are really um, they're not reliable sometimes they come sometimes they don't come sometimes they finish a project and then uh, sometimes they don't even finish the project one time I had someone that I gave a contract uh, to give me to make a new roof for my house and then they made a new roof uh, of the house and they never put the gutters and the gutters were included in the price of the uh, the whole uh, renovation but they never showed up after putting the roof itself they never showed up to put the gutters and guess what they never picked my phones uh, my phone calls from that time after to date so my <laughs> roof doesn't have gutters because um the croatian people uh, most of them the builders they are really disappointing so for me i i always look for good builders and if i find some i stick with them for a long time otherwise most of the things i do myself because then i can always rely on myself so then I've learned a lot of DIYs, like putting the floor, like uh, doing uh, painting, uh, the walls and other things that I can do just by myself. Then I don't really depend a lot on builders. Otherwise, you really get disappointed. And that is one thing that many people come here, like foreigners come to Croatia and they are talking all about the, 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 the builders in Croatia, that they are not really reliable. Because most of the good builders have gone to other countries. They have gone to Germany. They have gone to Ireland. They have gone to other countries, you know. So most the ones, the remnants are really not uh, reliable. They're really not good. So then you really have to find some good building company that can help you out whenever you need them. So that is one way that Croatia has changed me. Another way I have uh, really changed uh, in Croatia is having indoor plants. It is not really a Croatian culture, but I found it very uh, self-healing and also really soothing for me to have plants in, inside the house, uh, like flowers and also different plants, because winters are grey here. Like when you come to this part of, of Croatia, it is really grey, there is nothing growing, so it is dry, everything is like nothing is growing. So when I was in my country, where we always had uh, green greeneries everywhere uh, we don't have the four seasons so then it is always a nice uh, country and always uh, very nice uh, plants everything is always green so i never felt the need of having indoor plants but here in croatia it is really a must for me and i feel it uh, very nice and very soothing so then i have indoor plants that is way one way i've changed uh, since I came to Croatia. Another way that Croatia has changed me is the Rakia, the Rakia culture. It is almost a crime if you don't have Rakia in your home and especially if you have uh, Kenyan, uh, no, uh, sorry not Kenyan, but Croatian men coming to visit and you don't have rakia then it's almost a crime because rakia is kind of vodka uh, but uh, made from plums uh, in croatia in this part of croatia it's really common and they make it a lot uh, and it is really 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 strong alcohol but it is part of the culture everywhere you go you find people taking rakia 
and also including their old grannies like um, in my village i have uh, some neighbors who are in their 80s and 90s and they tell me it is their culture so they take rakia uh, shots like three rakia shots per day so one in the morning one at lunchtime and one during the dinner so you'd find it is really part of their culture and they believe like rakia is everything <laughs> <laughs> and of course, when I ask them, well, what is your secret of living very long life? They say Drakia is the secret. And sometimes you find even if somebody like um, cuts themselves or get hurt, they would uh, use Rakia to clean the wound. So it is really Rakia is everything. Rakia is everywhere. But of course... I take rakia, but not really, if you offer me, I'll take it, but not like everyday life, but it's something that you really have to get used to drinking, especially because it's really strong, you feel it here. <laughs> something else is the safety in this country. I had to really learn to, to be easygoing, not to worry about my security, not to worry about somebody like uh, around the corner who is uh, going to mug me or do some crazy things uh, on me. So this country is really safe. I feel safe. I feel very uh, nicely. It's like a very nice environment. Sometimes I even close, uh, sleep without closing my door and I still find everything intact and i still sleep very very nicely and very soundly and that is something that you can't find anywhere else apart from this country wonderful country it's really nice to feel that safe because for me i always never felt safe and including other countries in europe you feel like you always have to watch out uh, your bag and watch out your back but here it is really nice it is calm and nobody bothers with you and nobody is really interested in stealing what you have or is stealing from you so it is something that you can't get somewhere else i really love it something else is the spices here vegeta is everything there is this spice that they use for everything if you want to make soup you use vegeta if you want to make some goulash of some sauce you use vegeta everything is vegeta <laughs> And vegeta is like really standard spice it doesn't have a lot of uh, spices in it but everybody uses vegeta for me uh because i'm used to using a lot of spices and uh, to spice up my food and everything i really had to get used to just using uh, vegeta or just other basic spices like boyon and other basic spices then like in the shops the standard shops in croatia you can't find uh, exotic uh, spices like what you will find like in Netherlands because in Netherlands you'll find many di different shops, even shops that are dedicated to selling uh, Indian spices, you know, like Mexican spices. Then you find there are different um, shops selling that. But here you find that most places, uh, unless you go to a big city like Zagreb or Dubrovnik, for example, where there's a lot of international culture and a lot of international community but when you live in such a, a place like not in the cities you'll find that it is difficult for you to find spices so i had to adapt to just using um basic spices although sometimes i miss um the african spices and most of the times you'll find uh, me ordering some spices from the netherlands for example or even going to Zagreb and uh, buying spices, although they're much more expensive uh, here. If you go to uh, the exotic uh, spice uh, store, you'll find it like two times more expensive than the Netherlands. So sometimes I just order them from the Netherlands because, well, I have some connections there and I have family there so they can just ship it to me and it is cheaper for me. So that is something I really had to adapt to. And also because people in Croatia are not used to eating spicy food, then when you're cooking for Croatian people, you have to be really careful that you don't put a lot of spices in your food. Otherwise, they will not like it. <laughs> so then I have to be careful whenever I'm preparing meals for my Croatian guests or people coming to visit me. I have to be very careful to make a standard meal or just to just uh, to make very uh, food with very few spices 
or to use Vegeta. Whatever you put in Vegeta, it is like you put Vegeta into, it is just going to be nice and the Croatian people are going to like it. So then uh, if you use Vegeta, you 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 are safe. You're, you're not taking a risk. But if you uh, end up using other spices, then it is a bit risky with the Croatian people. So those are the ways that Croatia has changed me for the past six years. Um, of course, I'm expecting more changes. I'm expecting to see more ways that Croatia is going to change me. And I'm ready for it. Bring it on. This is my country. I love you. Thank you for watching.